Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We're continuing our classic Farming Sim series. So far we've made two episodes and it's been quite fun actually. Um, I've been doing a lot of work off camera. Now before we get into today's video I just want to say if you go on to enjoy it I'd appreciate you dropping a like and if you're new to the channel welcome and please consider subscribing we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers here so if you want to help us out with that i greatly appreciate it but with that said let's just get into the video <laughs> So as I mentioned I have done quite a lot of work off camera since the last episode. I went ahead and finished baling up the uh, field we started baling in the last episode and I also went ahead and collected all the bales and put them in the shed so that is all good and tidy now and I also went ahead and finished mowing the rest of the field that we started in the last episode so today we're going to be hay timing that field uh, we need to go ahead and scale the field row it up and then bale it and we're also going to do some trips to the store with the uh, international transtar um, we're going to go and fill this up with some grain and take that to the shop and sell it now we have got some uh, we've got a little tedder here so that's our tedder and we've got a hay bob here to row it up so that's what we're going to be doing in a minute um, the baler also could do with a bit of a clean you can see it's a little bit filthy and also the combine is not in the greatest condition so over here I actually decided to go ahead and buy a pressure washer so you can like turn this on and then um, you can actually like wash your implements and stuff so that's pretty good it costs five grand so not really too expensive um, <laughs> it's a very expensive pressure washer in real life but in farming sim that's not too bad to be honest right so i think what we'll start off first doing is um i'll do a little bit of tedding i'll show you how that works i think that's the right way tedding or teddering whatever you want to call it um we're going to spread the grass out and make it into hay and then we need to go ahead and row it up and bale it. I'm not going to show you the whole process of that, the whole field. Um, if you watch the last episode, you'll know that the field that we cut uh, is very big. And we are using this classic machinery. So it isn't the biggest machinery. Um, so it does take a lot longer to do stuff, which is fine. Uh, but I don't want to show all of that on camera because it's a little bit boring. So I'll go ahead and show a little bit of what we're doing and then I will cut to the finished sort of result if you will. But here we go, this is tedding, I think that's what it's called, tedding or teddering, whatever you want to call it. Basically, um, what you, why, why do you tedder? Um, you might be wondering, well it basically spreads the grass out as you can see. So it's kind of in like a neat row now, in like a heaped row. And you can see that it spreads the grass out a lot more. And it's also changing colour. And that's basically what you would do in real life is spread it out. And then you let the sun bake the grass. And that's what turns it into hay. So that's kind of the difference between hay and silage. With silage you would just row it up. With hay you actually let it bake it in the sun. So yeah we can hire a worker to do this and i probably will do that for the rest of the episode i'll do a few strips up and down here and i'll probably speed that up like i did in the last episode and then we'll go ahead and cart some grain with our big transtar Thank you. 
Right, so there we go. That's a little bit of tedding done. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole process. We've done a few strips up and down the field. So you basically get the idea of what we're doing. It's spreading out the grass. And you can see that it changes colour. That sort of to show that it's baked it then. Um, normally it doesn't change that quickly. You have to leave it for a few days. But um, this is farming sim. It's a game at the end of the day. So... Um, I'll go ahead and finish up this row and then I think we'll hop into the Transtar and take some grain to the shop because we haven't really explored much of the map yet and we also haven't really had a chance to drive the International yet and also you can see in the top right of the screen we are a little bit low on funds and we have a lot of grain in the silo that we can actually go ahead and sell. So I'll go ahead and hop into the Transtar and we'll head over to the silo and fill that bad boy up with a little bit of grain. Right, so here we go. Um, we're at the silo. Um, we've already harvested a few fields, but if you start, um, there's a few different difficulty modes. Um, the one I'm on already gives you a little bit of grain to sell in the silo. Um, some of the harder modes give you no grain to sell. Um, but it's basically a little bit of reserve grain and you can't really use the grain for anything other than to sell it so we might as well get it out of the silo and take it to the shop and get a few funds in um, so we'll go ahead and start filling here we've got some wheat in here we've got a lot of barley that's what we harvested in the last episode we've got some oats we've got canola We've got a lot of sunflowers, actually. We've got a lot of soybeans. We've got a lot of corn. And then we're back to wheat. So I think we'll go ahead and sell the barley that we started, um, or that we harvested in the last episode. So we'll just go ahead and fill this thing up. And then we need to actually see where is the best place to sell this. Because there's multiple places you can sell it to, but some will give you better prices than others. So... Um, we'll just let this fill up. There we go. That is full. And then uh, we can actually go ahead and open up the menu here. And the prices here, it will tell you how much you get for each crop. So you can see the second uh, crop item along. Um, it is barley. It's kind of like the wheat one with some little stripes coming out the top. Um, you can see there that the Greendale stores gives us $582 per uh, thousand liters and Rainbow Ridge stores gives us $692 per thousand liters so obviously that is a lot better it gives you a lot more money and that is just here the Rainbow Ridge stores of course it's going to save the content first um, that is the Rainbow Ridge store right there and we are currently here so we're going to head out onto the main road take a right and then head to Rainbow Ridge stores and here we are at Rainbow Ridge stores I have no idea why it's called that it's kind of a strange name if you ask me but that is what the mod creator of this map decided to go with so I'm not going to question that too much this thing is an absolute beast. You might actually recognize the Transtar here from my uh, SnowRunner Let's Play series because it is actually the same um, Transtar that you can get on that game. It is uh, probably one of my favorite trucks on SnowRunner. It's not as useful as some of the other trucks, but I did go exploring in Alaska with the Transtar. Um, and I have to say it coped as well as any other vehicle would and I was using stock tires um, I don't think I had many upgrades on the thing at that point and all I had was a winch and I still managed to explore most of Alaska so yeah if you're looking for a good truck on SnowRunner the International Transtar is one to use so here we are at the Greendale stores this time this is the other store um, I believe there is actually only two stores on this map so it would have been nice if there was a few more but anyway um, yeah we've got a load of wheat in here I'm actually just gonna go ahead and try and find where we dump this 
Um, this is also where we can dump all of our silage for the biogas heating plant and all that good stuff. I think that is possibly the tipping point. Um, let me try. Park over here. There we go. That appears to be the right place. And we'll go ahead and unload our wheat. So we'll probably be doing quite a few of these trips, uh, maybe in one of the future episodes when we do some silaging, um, we will actually come and deliver that to the biogas heating plant because we can actually get money for selling silage to that. Um, obviously we'll be keeping some for ourselves as well, but I'll go ahead and uh, continue these trips and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've taken most of our crop to the shop or to the uh, stores. Um, I haven't taken everything because I only really want to take crop if we've got a full load's worth. Because it's not worth taking it if there's only a little bit of crop in there. Um, but now I want to go ahead and clean some of our machines, show you the pressure washing machine. Okay, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this you actually can like basically wash your vehicle now the whole washing thing you can just stand in one place and it cleans the whole um, vehicle but I actually like to go round uh, oh okay so there is actually a limit on the pressure washer I didn't know that um, yeah I do actually like to try and like spray it around and clean it off but you can just stand in one place and it will clean the whole thing and then you can see that it has actually cleaned that up now um, we'll go ahead and just clean the front of it here now if you have an attachment like this like mower deck on the front this can actually be detached then you have to clean those separately so if you have a tractor with a tool on the back you have to clean them separately so you can have it still attached but if you spray it only on the tractor, it will only clean the tractor. It will not clean the thing attached behind it. So just coming on to the last pass now. I've finished up this field. We've gone ahead and scaled it all so you can see it's all uh, lighter grass. We actually just need to row it up now. And then um, we need to bale it. I will bale it off camera. I will show a little bit of baling, but I'll probably bale it and move it into the barn off camera. But now we need to actually just go and grab the wind rower so we can put this into some nice neat rows that we can bail up. So we've gone ahead and grabbed the international here. Um, we've not really used this thing on camera yet. I did show you that I uh, fertilized the field off camera in the last episode using the international but we haven't actually used this thing like properly on camera yet. So I thought it would be nice to use it and I've not really had much chance to drive it yet. So we're going to go ahead and row up this field with the International. We can hire a worker and I might do that and go and do some other things. But I'll do a few laps around the field, speed it up so you can just see how the machine works and then I'll go ahead and do the rest of the field. So um, first turn it on obviously, <laughs> it's an important part and then we just drop it down and it will flick all of it into a nice neat row on the left hand side there you can see it kind of sweeps it up and flicks it towards that uh, sort of board on the left and then it puts it in this nice neat row and then you can see behind us nice neat row there that we can follow with the baler and um, you can go ahead and bale it like this when it's flat but the two reasons why I'm not doing that is one because it takes a lot longer and two because I like to try and do it properly how you would in real life and you would not just go up and down the field with a baler in real life so I'm going to do it properly I'll speed it up now and do a couple of laps around the field and then I'll go ahead and finish the rest off camera
So there we go guys, um, I've done well two sort of laps around the field, you can basically see how it goes now, you can see the nice rows we've created there on the right. I'll go ahead and finish up this field and I'll see you all in a minute once I'm done. So we're just finishing up the last bit here, it didn't actually take me all that long, it's taken me about maybe an hour um, to row up this field using the international pretty nice tractor actually i've enjoyed using this thing i've got one more strip to do just down here and then we'll go ahead and fetch the baler so i've gone ahead and grabbed the john deere and i know what you're going to say you haven't cleaned the john deere you haven't cleaned the baler well i figured there was no point doing that since we're going to just get it shit up again um baling this field up so thought might as well just leave it for now um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a few laps around the field like I have done and I'll fast forward them and then I think we're gonna leave it there for this video we do actually have a straw bale being made at the moment because um, in the last video we were hate timing some uh, or we were harvesting some straw we were baling up some straw so the straw was left in there so yeah don't be confused by that there will be a straw bale coming out of here now um, but the rest will all be green nice hay bales so yeah I'll go ahead and fast forward it and I'll see you in a minute So there we are, that is a little bit of hay baling, not really that interesting, you've seen it all before, but you know, I want to show you guys what I'm actually doing in the videos, even when I speed it up. So that's going to do it for this video, we did a little bit of hay timing, or rather I did m most of it off camera, um, but I hope you did find it interesting, and before I end the video I just want to welcome all of you new subscribers. There's been quite a lot of you over the recent months, so um, welcome to the channel, I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more Farming Sim 19 videos. We are doing this classic Farming Sim series, but if you want me to pick up the actual normal Farming Sim series again, then let me know down there. And if you are completely new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, then we are trying to reach a thousand subs. So if you want to support us with that, we greatly appreciate it. That's going to do it for the video though. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.